never been our objective to build the larger ship, but fairly quickly we assembled the ideas that different people had. We wanted to build something that would have features and options at a level on a scale that the world had never seen before. Uh, I think that you're going to see that uh, the ship is uh, going to fulfill that in, in ways that we today we almost can't even imagine. I think when this ship is introduced, it will set a whole new standard for cruising, and I think in the resort industry as well. I believe that this ship is going to be so unique and so different that the words cannot describe it. This ship represents the ultimate expression of the imagination and creativity that's found at Royal Caribbean on all of our ships. The ship is truly becoming uh, a destination unto itself. It's like a little town. The neighborhood concept is about taking a collection of experiences that meet a particular need for our guests and putting them all in one place. It's really a getting together, a gathering of people who want to engage in the same activity at the same time. If you are a family with children, you're probably going to gravitate at various points of the cruise to Boardwalk. Boardwalk itself is a little bit like going to a carnival. You'll have a number of activities, including a beautiful vintage carousel. It has a candy store. You'll have a tattoo parlor. It has an ice cream bar. You can even have your fortune told. So we wanted to create an experience where families could enjoy it together. It's just a fun place to be. It's a family hangout. And it will feel a little bit like you're on the boardwalk at Atlantic City or Coney Island or wherever it may be. Well, the boardwalk opens up to a, a wonderful amphitheater area. And it's both a swimming slash pool space in an amphitheater style during the day, and then a performance space at night. We'll be able to sit at the end in the evening looking towards this entertainment. And, and you will have the Caribbean night uh, behind you as a background. You'll see some wonderful high diving, state-of-the-art fountains. Basically a ballet of water, where the water jets go in different directions and create their own excitement. And light shows, and it will really be a spectacular venue for our guests. Yeah, I think the amphitheater at sea is a good example of a feature that's stunning. I actually think that of all the places on the ship and all the neighborhoods on the ship, um, the boardwalk leading into the amphitheater at sea is probably going to be one of the most exciting. There's a wonderful array of accommodations that we'll be offering on this ship. The loft suites are very unique. This is so far beyond anything that we've ever seen or heard of before in the cruise industry. You walk in and it's just so spacious that you, you just can't believe, you can't believe this is in a house, never mind on a ship. You will have a large balcony, which is probably 30, 40 meters above the water level. Phenomenal, an unobstructed view to the horizon. I think that will be a very special, sweet experience for the guests. We have a large number of staterooms which are facing to the Central Park or to the boardwalk. The staterooms on boardwalk have a double advantage. They are looking inwards at an active space, a neighborhood and they are looking aft to sea. You can actually look out past the boardwalk, past the amphitheater at sea, and look out onto the wake of, the wake of the ship. That's incredible. Or you can be on the Central Park balcony, looking down on the greenery and everything that is happening there. My goal is to have everybody leaving those two spaces, Boardwalk and Central Park, thinking what a great decision it was to buy into one of those rooms. We never had an experience like that before, and we will remember that forever. The Royal Promenade is twice the width of our existing Royal Promenade and the length of a football field. That is a huge increase. We just have a great opportunity to create a central place, a promenade, where people who want to can come, meet, relax. It will accommodate all of the different types of retail experiences, along with a beautiful mezzanine that overlooks the Royal Promenade. I believe that will give a totally different feel. There'll be several second level shops and experiences that will overlook the Royal Promenade. I think it's the combination of Royal Promenade and Central Park that really will set this entire space feeling apart from anything that's ever been seen before.
Central Park was created to give another outdoor venue uh, an alternative to our pool decks that really had that outdoor feel, that nature feel. It's unexpected to have living grass, trees, have foliage or anything else like that on, on a ship. It will also be sort of in general a more elegant upscale space than other areas of the ship. The park is going to be the gathering place where you will have your pre-dinner cocktails or you can have your after-dinner drink. The multiple specialty restaurants, all of which are offering al fresco dining opportunities, is a zone of the ship. It's shopping, dining, entertainment, and it's, it's done in a setting that's more serene and tranquil than some of our other settings, so it really provides those that just want to rest and relax and have a peaceful time. We provide that opportunity as well. It's just magical. In the center of Central Park, we have Rising Tide Bar. That's a bar that will go from the Royal Promenade on Deck 5 up to the uh, Central Park on Deck 8. The sky's the limit, and literally the Rising Tide uh, Bar is a good example of that. Who would have thought to have a bar that could go up and down over uh, multiple decks? And it will constantly be pulling them between the life of Central Park and the life of Royal Promenade. Uh, taking people from one neighborhood to another neighborhood. And there's never been an experience like that on board a ship. We're very proud of the ships that we build, and we believe we build the best ships anybody builds. But the thing that has always distinguished us for almost 40 years has been the service levels and the commitment that our crew members have shown. The secret, if you will, of how we make it all come together and how we're able to deliver that gold-anchored service uh, on a regular basis, on a consistent basis, is that uh, we enjoy doing it. And it's the interaction between the guests and the crew, regardless of whether it's the original song in Norway when she was 720 guests, or this at 6,300. It's that interaction that, that is the ultimate wow. Well.